The robot is a four-year project and aims at investigating and studying the capabilities of climbing plants to develop a new generation of growing self-adaptable robots. Climbing plants are in fact very peculiar plants because instead to create a very solid and strong trunk they use most of the energy that they have to grow faster than the other plants towards light. And to avoid to collapse under their weight they use a different strategies like a spine or tendril or adhesive pads to anchor to other plants or walls on poles. So the idea of GrowBot is to extract all the key principles at the base of these functionalities to develop new robots but also new materials, sensor, actuator and also behavioral strategy based on these properties. The GrowBot has a strongly interdisciplinary character that is required to address the complexity of studying a biological system to develop a new technology. In fact, the project involves nine partners with different background and skills from five different countries. This is a plan by Mechanics Group Freiburg. We are part of the Grobo team. My name is Thomas Beck. I'm a professor for functional morphology and biomimetics, and I'm especially interested how plants grow, and especially also how lianas grow and attach themselves. It's really interesting, it's a nice plant. I think we will try to use it for the robot approach mm. to make this kind of plant inspired robots. My name is Mark Thielen, I'm group leader in Thomas Group. I'm uh, normally developing biomimet uh, biomimetic materials, and I'm especially interested in how forces are developing during growth of plants and tendrils, and how they are evolving during attachment. My name is Friederike Klim. I am a PhD student in the Growbot project and I am particularly interested in the attachment systems of climbing plants, so tendrils, attachment pads, attachment roots um, and how these structures function. We want to quantify structural morphology, biomechanics of the attachment systems of plants and I better understand how plants can grow in complex 3D uh, environments. So our main role in the GrowBot project is to measure and understand how climbing plants grow and climb and attach in their natural environments. So we're measuring a lot of biophysical properties of these climbing plants, often in tropical rainforests where these plants are the most diverse. So this is one of our model plants. It also typifies some of the challenges we need to understand about climbing plants. It's a climbing cactus from here in southern Brazil and it's close in size to some of the technological robot prototypes. It changes its stem mechanics for locating support, it stabilizes itself with sharp spines and then firmly attaches with these roots. So one of our main aims is that this diversity of climbing mechanisms that we study will provide a toolbox of bio-inspired strategies for developing different kinds of grobot artifacts. My name is Yasmin Roz and I'm a principal investigator at Tel Aviv University in Israel. My lab investigates the physics underlying plant behaviour and growing systems in general. The role of our lab in the Grobot project is primarily to investigate and develop mathematical models for behavioural responses of climbing plants including memory, decision-making, and collective behavior. In plants, as opposed to animals, we cannot separate between behavior and growth or development, since indeed the direction of growth of a plant is a manifestation of some behavioral process. This means that the behavior of plants is inherently different from the animal world, and indeed this also means that control theory used in classic self-propelled robotics is not applicable to a grown robot such as Grobot. In other words, we need to reassess everything we know about behavioral processes when we're considering a growing system. As part of the project, we're running experiments on climbing plants, which shed light on how they integrate information from different sensory modalities. 
These experiments allow us to develop mathematical models describing the decision-making process in the climbing plants, and particularly how they are able to identify optimal uh, growth strategies. We're also developing a framework for emergent collective uh, dynamics within a group of robots. And this is based on understanding the dynamics between uh, interacting sensory growth systems. Plants are far from being a bassy organism. They are able to exhibit complex behavior in response to environmental stimuli. The design of a general theory on the way these stimuli are combined, activated and managed is still an open complex problem in biology. Mathematical models have helped to understand some of the pieces of communication and complexity within plants. But a broader and brighter vision combining multiple key processes is still missing. This type of understanding is a crucial step to design plant-inspired robots. Models are ultimately able to highlight the similar signals of interplant communications and show the possibility to translate uh, biological responses uh, into optimal control strategies. Our models have been developed and sustaining going beyond the present state of art. They have been validated comparing numerical simulation and a very large amount of uh, uh, experimental biological data collected from the literature. Our models proved and demonstrated the robustness and reliability. Hi to everyone, I'm Michele Padadino and I work at GSSI as a researcher. Uh, I'm also involved in the Global Project and my research concerns the use of mathematical analysis uh, to describe the growth of plants trying to avoid obstacles. Hi to everyone. I'm Fabio, a PhD student involved in the Grubot project. My research is focused on the study of the efficiency of plants growing strategies. The aim is to help biologists in understanding what plant is optimizing during their movement and, on the other hand, in supporting engineers to develop efficient algorithms for growing robots. We are the Grubot team at Scuola Superiore Sant'Anna in Italy at the Biorobotics Institute. My name is Cecilia Naschi and I'm a roboticist and I'm interested in the intelligence of climbing plants as they have sensors and they make decisions. I'm Yasmin Ansari and I'm working as a postdoc in the project and I'm interested in translating intelligence of plants into computational architectures. I'm Elisa Massi, I'm a uh, bionics engineering and a PhD student and I start implementing this plant inspired architecture on simulators. The idea is taking inspiration from the way plants perceive stimulus in the environment and then approach the stimulus as we are trying to, to simulate with this soft robotic arm. And once the stimulus is reached, the robot needs to twine around it to anchoring. And so that's what we are trying to implement with this simple control architecture on the simulator. The role of uh, the Center for Microbiorobotics uh, uh, of uh, the Italian Institute of Technologies is to develop the materials but also the technology to create a growing robots inspired by climbing plants. So our idea is to use an additive manufacturing approach to generate the robots that without a predefined shape can adapt their morphology, their body, to the external environment. Hi, I'm Francesco Mazzettina, a computer scientist. Hello, I am Giovanna Naselli and I am a mechanical engineer and we are both postdoc at IIT and uh, we are currently working on the development of a searcher-like soft robot. Hello, my name is Fabian Mida, I am, my background is bio nanotechnology. I'm a postdoc at IIT and I'm working in novel solutions to supply robots with energy from real plants. Hello, my name is Nicola Tirelli and I'm leading the group of polymers and biomaterials at the Italian Institute of Technology. Now, when plants grow, they can bend because there are stimuli they want to avoid or they want to be attracted to or they may adhere to substrates. Actually, our role in the robot project is indeed to gift the growing robots with the possibility to bend Hello, I'm Mike Geven, I'm a postdoctoral associate and I'm synthesizing materials that respond to external stimuli such as oxidation or that show a biomimetic adhesive property. The laboratory of polymer biomaterials is at the Italian Institute of Technology in Genova, Italy. This is our chemistry lab where we prepare new polymers and we molecularly characterize them. 
This is our physical chemistry lab, where we study nanoparticle interactions and the mechanical behavior of hydrogels. And finally, this is where we make nanoparticles. This is Bea, and what we do is a biohybrid battery, able to power up the whole system just by using nature itself. Our main challenge is to make a biological battery able to prevail in absolute external conditions with rainfalls and cold weather and having a microbiological colony inside that has to be kept alive. What we expect is to be able to power a partial uh, system of sensors and communications of the whole robot uh, just with the biological batteries and the rest of it with something like hydrogen or solar power. Growbot also aims to create a new community that is more focused on bio-inspiration, specifically on plant-inspired technology. And so we want to merge different backgrounds, different skills, but different disciplines to address this very complex problem. The idea is to create a robot without a predefined shapes and form, but with the capability to adapt their morphology to the external environment. Similar abilities are very useful uh, to uh, explore unstructured environment, but also to move under debris looking for survivor or looking for archaeological uh, interest, but also for environmental models. So what we want to propose is a technology that is more green and sustainable and we can say that these robotics move from nature to nature.